Hi, how you guys doing? It's Martine Crippen here. I'm a makeup artist with Saint. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing two makeup mirrors, the Simple Human Trio and the Ricky Loves Ricky Skinny Travel Mirror. I believe it's really important to have a quality mirror and quality lighting in order to get the effect that you want for your makeup. I have used a makeup mirror with a light since I first started my little journey with makeup. I'm gonna be dating myself here, but when I was 16, my parents gave me a train case, and in the train case, there was a makeup mirror called a Mirror Go Lightly. It was about this big. You could take it out, you could put it on your dresser. I used that from 16 all through my 20s into my early 30s. I then bought a really gorgeous, kind of pricey, brass makeup mirror, about that big, four bulbs, and I used that for the next 30 years until I just realized I needed more light and a bigger mirror because I'm getting older. And so I started to do research and to find out, you know, what's the best mirror? And I spent hours looking. And I realized that I not only wanted a one times and a five times, but I really on occasion need a 10 times mirror. And honestly, I'd really like them all put together in one mirror. So when I stumbled on this simple human trio, um, I was very intrigued. I read all the reviews, the pros and the cons, and so um, I went ahead and got it. So here's what it looks like. It really is stunning. This is gorgeous. This will make a statement on anyone's vanity. It comes in two finishes. It comes in the chrome or the rose gold. As you can see, it is chargeable. So you don't have to have it plugged in on the all the time. The charge lasts, I don't, I know, it's two to four weeks, depending on how long you use it. Um, one of the great battery saving features is that when you look in the mirror, it turns on. And then when you step away, it's going to dim and turn off. So that's really great. You see it just dimmed. You can control the brightness here on the side. You can see, make it bright, dim it down. It has two colors. It has... Where is it? It has daylight, which is what is now. And then it has evening or candlelit. You look at the mirror. And I love one of the things I really do love about the mirror is you can tilt it up like when you're putting mascara on. And then you can tilt it back down. That's a great feature. So we have one times on this side and the ten times down here. Flip it. And this is where you have the five times. And here's where you have the little switch to flip and to change the colors. So that's all the great points. Now I'm gonna go into the cons on this. It's an expensive mirror. It really, really, really is an investment piece. Um, if you go to Bed Bath & Beyond, they do carry it with a 20% coupon. You can get 60 off. So you can get it for $240, which I honestly think that's where it should be priced. If you want the rose gold, like I have, Bed Bath & Beyond, when I checked today, doesn't carry it. It just carries the chrome. So you're going to have to pay a premium for that. I don't want to call it a pink tax, but really. Um, I didn't pay full price. I didn't pay for it at all. My mom bought this for me for my birthday. Thank you, Mom. Oh. So outside of the price, what don't I like? I don't like the placement, and I read other reviewers on this, of the magnification. When I'm in magnification mode, I'm in magnification mode. So if I'm here and I need something closer up, I gotta go do it, do it, go in here. Now I gotta go back to this magnification. And I'm finding myself flipping back and forth a lot. Honestly, I think the 10 times should be on the five times side. And I've read other reviewers complain about that. Another issue people were having, and I had it, but it went away, which is weird, is the sensor. Um, I would look in, it would let, light up, and then it would turn off with my face right here. I go, oh, it must not see me. I'd wave my hand, it would turn back on, I'd be putting makeup on, and then within like five to 10 seconds, boom, it's off again. Here I am, you know, primping myself in the mirror. <laughs> um, that kind of annoyed me, so I thought, well, heck, maybe it's because it's not plugged in or something. So I plugged it in, and it made it a little better, but it still had the problem. And I'm like, well, I guess I got to return it. 
And then I got busy and the next day I put my makeup on, I didn't have a problem. And I'm like, oh, I guess it was a one-time thing. And then about a week later, it started doing it again. And I'm like, ah, I got to return it. And then it stopped. And it has not done it since the end of January. Today is, it's like February, no, it's March 14th or something. Yeah. So um, maybe it heard me talking about it. I don't know, but it, the problem went away. Also, I love the fact that this mirror has two color settings. I really wanted that. But here's the issue I'm having with these color settings. Um, and I don't think I've seen anyone else complain about this because so it just could be me. You should go to Bed Bath & Beyond and check this out for yourself. But I find that the daylight setting is really too blue. And then the candlelit setting, it's really orange. And I just don't find they're very ref truly reflective of daylight or evening. So if they could tweak those, um, and I tell you what, if they could tweak those and move the 10 times to the five times, this would knock it out of the park. Not uh, the, um, the sensor issue notwithstanding. This would be just amazing. Also, could be because I'm old. Um, I find when I look in the mirror, it really lights this part of my face up really well, like from here to here. But this part... Not so much. And again, that could be me. You should check this out for yourself. But again, I'm giving you all the pros and all the cons. I then became a makeup artist with Saint and realized I needed another mirror to take traveling with me to client appointments. And also, when I travel, um, I really have a crummy mirror. This is the mirror I use for traveling. You might think, oh, this is a great mirror. And it does the purpose, you know, it's not really, it's kind of travel friendly. It's been around with me for a really long time. It did not cost a lot. And I'm, I'm trying to remember where I got this. It could have been at the drugstore for all I know. I just saw it and thought, oh, that's a good size mirror. But um, I looked at the Ricky Lives Ricky and I'm like, oh my God, who would, here it is. Who would travel with this mirror? I travel with this mirror. Oh my God, this has really rocked my world when it comes to, uh, portability. Look how skinny it is. I mean, it's amazing. Okay. So let's talk about the Ricky Loves Ricky. Here it is. A little skinny mirror. You can literally get a device, that, an accessory that Ricky has, and you can stick this to your bathroom mirror, which is kind of cool. Um, it sits on this little stand, which is collapsible and travels beautifully. And so you can change your angles, right? I'm a big angle person. You can change your angles on the mirror. Now, originally I was not drawn to this so much because it was only a one times, but I realized they have a five times and a 10 times mirror that go with this. So there's two attachments you can use mirror wise. Here's the five times. It sticks right on the mirror and then swap out. You've got your 10 times. I'm going to give you some advice when you go to buy the mirror. When you go to buy it, they'll give you the option of either getting the 10 or the 5. Get the 5. The reason I'm going to tell you to get the 5 is because then you can go into accessories and you can buy the 10. If you get it with the 10 times mirror and then realize later, oh my gosh, I really want the 5 times, you can't get it. They don't sell it in accessories at this point. So maybe they will in the future. But that's what I did. I went in and purchased it with the five times. And then I went on. It was out of stock for quite a while. And then, boom, I got a text notification. And I got my snagged myself the 10 times mirror. It also has an attachment for selfies and cell phones. I never thought I would ever use this. Now I use it all the time. Um, looks like this. I've got my phone put in. And it just sticks right here. I even discovered... You can take your magnification mirror and stick it on that. It's kind of amazing. Now, Ricky Loves Ricky comes in a number of colors. Guess what color I got? The rose gold. Um, they've got white, black. You can personalize it. They've got a tropical one. And I just went on their website, and they've got a whole bunch of more really cool colors. So whatever floats your boat, they've got um, you even have a Bluetooth setting where you can hook it up through your phone. I haven't used that yet. 
Um, the battery lasts a long time. When you turn it off, it'll show you your battery. If you can see it there, little flash up to tell you how much battery. Um, I was using the mirror the other day and it died on me and I have, you know, the cord right there on my makeup and it, it charged like in 10 minutes. So it charges very, very fast. They have travel cases. They've got um, a skinny little travel case for just the mirror. And then they've got the big deluxe, couple, two different sizes of deluxe ones to put um, everything in and travel with it. So they've really got you covered there. Cons on this. You know, I really just don't have any. Um, it's really rocked my world when it comes to makeup travel for having color. I used to sit on the, to on the toilet and I'd use the whole makeup counter for my makeup and I'd put this on for close up and then I'd stand up, you know, in the makeup mirror, in the bathroom and do it there. And now I can just sit out in the room watching TV with everything I need right in front of me all there. So it's nice to leave the bathroom, especially if you're traveling with someone who needs the bathroom and you don't want to get all steamed up with your hair while they're showering and putting your makeup on. Um, if I had a wish list, um, the only thing I think I'd change is to have two tones, but honestly, I haven't really needed it. It was just kind of like in a perfect world kind of thing. The mirror really gets bright. I mean, look at this. I need sunglasses. Yeah, it's really, it's really incredible. Um, I was just, the mirror has amazed me. And of the two, mirrors, I end up using this one a lot more than I do this one. Just because of the color thing. I don't know. I do use this one. When this is engaged with um, doing a video for makeup, I'll go ahead and use this one as well. So again, stunning, gorgeous design. Probably is going to meet everyone's needs. If you want to travel, you got to love the Ricky Loves Ricky. Um, honestly, I can't say enough good about this mirror. It really, it really surprised me. They also make big ones and handheld ones. And so I recommend both mirrors. Uh, but I really think before you buy this one, you should go into Bed Bath & Beyond and just play with it because it's really expensive. Um, this mirror, cost-wise, is... Um, $195, $200, something in that range. I used a coupon the first time you go on the website, they'll give you 15% off. I got it for $185. And then about a month later, I saw, oh, you can get it for $165. So um, they're kind of comparable when you go to add in the second mirror to get your 10 times. It equals almost close, and you get the, the travel case and all close to the, the discounted price you would get at Bed Bath & Beyond for the Simple Human. Um, I hope you find this review helpful. Um, if you have any questions further, please message me. If you'd like to get color matched, you want to try Saint Makeup, um, reach out to me. You can, there's a link below, click on that. I'll send you your colors and we can start you on your Saint Makeup journey. Until next time, this is Martine Crippen signing out. Thanks. Bye-bye.